Hello. Luther! Behold the eye of the dragon. The dragon egg. Anal nathrach. Uthvas bethod. Dochelthienve. I don't speak Spanish. It's from Excalibur. You never saw that movie, did you? It's an oldie but a goodie. I saw the animated Excalibur. Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks against some Corbin. We stayed at the Excalibur for our honeymoon. I'm sorry. No, we had a good time. Oh. Yeah. I haven't been there in years, but when I went, it wasn't good. No, it but was it was okay. This was well, in, this was in the uh, late nineties. You get what you pay for. <laughs> I'll say this about the Excalibur: you get what it's you been, pay for. It's when, been twenty years. When you go to the Excalibur, you get what you pay for, and it's it's economic, so you're not going to get a lot of bells and whistles. But also, when you're in Vegas, you don't often stay in your hotel, and that's just why for, we went to the Excalibur. Just for any of you who've never been to Vegas, no, you, you don't gonna, often stay in your hotel except at night. No, find a place to just be comfortably resting and clean, and then. Go spend your money on shows and gambling and drinks and yeah yeah because we're Bollywood bootlickers. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, not today. Have we're I not. said hey, welcome back? Yeah, we just did that. Okay, well yeah. you but, forget it. But, we're doing a movie review. <laughs> <laughs> we're not licking Bollywood boots today. No, no, not Bollywood boots. Nope. Uh, this is Telugu boots today. Yep. Uh, but a Bollywood. Well, I, you, I think he's an Indian star. I don't even think he's he's I, not uh, one particular region because he's. I mean, this is our first Telugu film of his. Oh, is it really? I didn't realize that. I, from to my knowledge, because we've seen Tamil and Bollywood. Those, I think he's predominantly a Tamil actor. Um, you guys, can I didn't realize. Let this me know was if I'm wrong, but I think this is uh, the yeah, first no, he's, of his. He's he is an, an Indian, Indian star. legend. Yeah, there are a lot Indian. Cinema. A lot of stars in India are regional. He is. They cross the regions. Yeah, even in, obviously, Shah Rukh Khan, even though he's beloved, he's still mostly a, a Hindi. I mean, he's right. beloved around the world, but he's a Hindi. Hindi star. Hindi star. Right. Kamal San, I mean, yeah, I guess if you do it all. You're gonna Why not a, do it all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. we are the, reviewing the 1983 film Sagara Sagamama. And you know what? Sagamama. <laughs> <laughs> Sagamama. Sagamama. Yeah. <laughs> this is the movie we're going to review. Cigar or Sagamama? Cigar Sagamama. <laughs> it's this lady. She's very, very saggy, and she loves cigars. So we call her Cigar Cigara. Sagamama. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our stupid reaction. Yeah. I love that they split it up, because it's not split up like that. The title. In the title, it's one word. Yeah. Like most South Indian words that are long that only they can pronounce, and I sound like a buffoon trying to. But it's a uh, 1983 film directed by K. Um, Viswanath, who we've seen one other of his films. Uh, I don't know if you knew that. I, no, that's not it's Rita the, Bell either. What was the other one we saw of his? The classic Telugu about the, uh, the classic artist. Mahanlo? No, no, that's, that's Malayalam. Um, it's, the green face thing? No, 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 no. Uh, not a dancer. He's a he's a singer. The classic film. We did it first classic month. It was the t- classic Telugu film. Um, the guy on. wants to be a singer? Hold on. Or I'll pull it up for you. All right. This one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, w- I thank you for putting that together for me. I wouldn't have remembered yeah, that. Yeah, that, that one was 1980. This is 1983. Same director. So Got that's it. the other time that we had seen it. Obviously starring Kamal Hassan. Yep. And uh, Jaya Prada. Yep. And uh, Sarath Babu. Yep. Uh, who are the mainly, obviously, Kamal Hassan's the, uh, the star of this film. Composed by Raja Sir uh, and written by uh, him and... Uh, yeah, the story was by him. Dialogue was, uh, I'll mispronounce, forgive me, uh, John Diala. Yeah, and I want to... He's not on Twitter, but the, uh, when we did our uh, review of uh, Shahid... Uh-huh. Obviously, the um, um, Hansel retweeted it, right, and, mm-hmm. and said thank you so much, guys. But then uh, the the writer of the film, who we've had many of his writing before, said it's wonderful to see people uh, talk about editing in a film, even if you don't talk about the writing. <laughs> <laughs> Because he Did, was the writer of that. Didn't we? I guess we kind of like uh, was like, 
Didn't we say that the writing was I don't think we great? shouted it out specifically. Oh. I think we said that. I don't think we like specifically. Okay. <laughs> Which I well, felt bad. Like, I felt bad. We loved the writing in that movie. <laughs> we loved pretty much everything about that movie. Yeah, anyway, but I thought it was funny. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I try to shout out everybody I can. Sometimes we lose track of what we talk about because we just, the, how we do reviews is we just talk just about it. Just off the cuff. Um, others do it a different way. It's totally fine. Yeah, there's some people who, I mean, there's there's some people who, Write out the reviews and they have a teleprompter style. Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy does that. Jimmy prepares, yeah, it. which is He's a fantastic. And he does reviewer. a great job. Um, but anyways, so there's a hundred swimming sword. We came out in 1983. If you haven't watched it, um, where did I watch it? Oh yeah, what did we watch that on? Oh, it might be available somewhere for you, but yeah. it wasn't for us with subtitles. Right. So somebody actually sent us a link uh, with the subtitles. So thank you so much. Um, but I think it's available like on YouTube, and I think it's available another one, but it just doesn't have subs. Uh, so if you can speak the language. But uh, I, I talked to the group and said, everybody has seen this film. Yeah. <laughs> but, Rick, your initial thoughts. <laughs> My initial thoughts, and I, I have I, I don't have the, the, the tracking numbers as far as what's our what number film it is. I typically do that right at the beginning, and I don't have a paragraph. I will say you that as much as this was a mixed bag for me, I have things I can say about it that didn't engage me, and I have other parts that, that did engage me. Um, I'll tell you the things I liked the most, that ultimately I liked it, I was hoping, like most films, when I watch them, that I'm going to love the movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't love the movie, and ultimately, I liked it. And again, when we get into the broader space of the things we talk about with the acting or the editing or the filming, I'll get into the specifics of what it was that I did like versus what I didn't like. And ultimately, it led to me just just liking it. I wouldn't necessarily watch it again or even recommend it, um, but I uh, ultimately, a thumbs up in terms of I liked it. No, I liked it uh, apparently a lot more than you. I like this film a lot. Okay. I think the first half is much uh, much better than the second half. I think it, it fell off a little bit in the second half. Um, this is my favorite Kamal performance. Hands down. Wow. Hands down is my favorite Kamal Hassan performance. And obviously, That's, wow. And he's had great performances, obviously, <laughs> outside of one that, and it wasn't really his fault in the performance. No. It was the film that we just didn't exactly. enjoy. Exactly. Yeah. Um, he's had many, many great performances. Uh, but yeah, uh, over, I, I, I did enjoy this film quite, quite a bit. Um, but I, I, can, I can see where you probably not be engaged in some aspects, especially in the second half. The second half wasn't as engaging for me as mm. the first half. Uh, but yeah, overall, I, I really enjoyed this film. Uh, and once again, he enjoyed it as well, just not as much. Well, I, I know what pe people just assume right off the bat. Rick didn't like it. Or yeah. If we say something, we didn't enjoy it as much. All right. Whenever I get it. into the critique aspect yeah, yeah. of it, I did say I liked it, but there's actually, it's interesting. There's a, the thing at the front and the thing at the back that are mm -hmm. kind of good bookends. Mm. Um, I loved at the very beginning the, the, the fact that the, 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 the girl, the dancer, and her husband were so vitriolic and ugly and hate-filled and threatening of physical harm to him simply because he gave him a bad review. <laughs> Not relatable. Not at all. Not relatable And at I all, also right had now? the thought that, um, you know, at the end, they said, they said the thing of, like, the, the, the guru is like God, and yeah, yeah, yeah. this is like God, and, like, the guest is like God. God. And I consider us to be guests in your homes. And if that's the case, then a lot of the folks who say some of the things they say might want to reconsider the way you treat your guests. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Kamal Hassan, I'm actually surprised because comparatively, and I'll tell you the things that differentiate me. I mean, number one, it's, it's <laughs> I'm not saying he gave a bad performance. I, I, I enjoy watching him. He and her carry the film for mm -hmm. me. Um, I forget the name of the last one we saw that I loved so much. What was the last uh, one we just saw? We saw the, uh, so many of the names often I forget because of the. I don't, it's the one where he had like the mutton chop. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, part of the reason for me, I wouldn't consider this one of. Uh, it's not even close to the top for me of his performances. Setting the dancing aside, no way to tell. I actually I asked Indrani. I said, "Is is Kamala San considered a, a, a like a really good classical dancer?" And she said, I, "I don't I don't know. I've never watched him enough. I haven't heard enough, and we don't know enough. We can hear singers, and because we understand what goes into singing, we we understand difficulty we hear with what vocalization that lets us get awed by it. Mm -hmm. But with the disciplines of particular dance forms that you don't know, it's hard to tell how good the person is. It, it passed my I, eye test. I don't it, know shit though. It." For me, I'm going to assume 
he nailed it and that he yeah. was doing it as good as it gets. Yeah. And okay. that was my assumption straight up. Yeah. So right. setting that aside. I know nothing about dance. Yeah. It looked like he could it have looked, been a classically trained it dancer. It looked to me But like, obviously you can't judge that part. Exactly. On its own. It looked just to like, me, he just, was doing it right. Just like when Renvier does an accent. I can't really judge him because I don't know that accent exactly. at all really well. Or even watching a, 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 a It just a, passes the ear test. Yeah. You can watch like with if you're watching a, a movie about cricket. If they don't hit the ball, but the ball goes flying, that's obviously a bad editing choice or something. But I don't know the sport well enough to critique how believable the cricket playing was. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming his dancing was spot on, so set that aside. There were things about his um, physical demise mm. that weren't grounded for me. That was the one thing for me that pulled me away from the believability of his portrayal was there wasn't a flow through in terms of the descent and the symptomology of his problem. It just was oftentimes an indication of a stomach pain. And then I saw alterations in his level of sickness within seconds of each other. At one moment, he looked like he was on death's door and then something else happened and he seemed completely revitalized. That, that for me was what pulled me from feeling like it was ultimately, and, and there was some choppiness in the editing, especially in the second half mm. that pulled me away from staying engaged with, with the characters. But I say all that, not to say that I think he gave a bad performance. I just don't equate it to the same mm. level you do, if that no. makes sense. Yeah. No, and I, I could say, I, but I've seen it a lot now in Indian cinema. What the, what they do with illnesses is strange, and how people just die in the drop of a hat yeah. sometimes, especially older films. Yeah, and so I kind of on that aspect of the filmmaking, I agree. I kind of just talked about this is just how they do it, I guess. And <laughs> like people just fucking die, which which <laughs> like for me I can't. She wrote out a note. Yeah, <laughs> remember that? I do remember that. <laughs> Yeah, and for me, it's unless it's a highly stylized form of theatrical art that specifically yeah, has but, that within the disciplines. Yeah, there was so much more, though, besides that. There was, but I look at the performance as a whole throughout the entirety of the nearly three-hour film, and those moments for me, I can't say it's his one of his best performances, when those moments for me, I wouldn't want someone to watch as an example of good illness portrayal wouldn't that be more on the filmmaking than his performance because if that's what the director told him to do well i'd love to hear his viewpoint on that yeah in well. in that regard because and i i find it hard to believe and I, I could be wrong where he has an artistic choice that the director says i want you to do this and he deep down is like that is completely antithetical to anything i want to do right now but i'll do it because you're the director that may have happened and this but was the, also early in his career. It was with it was. a well-known director. But irrespective of what led to the decision, the final result for me was seeing stuff in that physical portrayal that mm. pulled me away from believing the performance yeah. in those moments. Yeah, yeah. Only those moments, though. Mm. Um, yeah, no this this whole performance of his, I, I loved. Um, and I, I obviously there's stuff that with with obviously time, <laughs> you know, and how older films choose to do certain things that you just kind of have to forgive. But overall, his performance, I, I, I really, really enjoyed from... I love him with the beard, by the way. I think he looked <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Um, you I, would. Yeah, I would. It's true. <laughs> um, but, like, I... And once again, please tell us if he nailed the if you're a dancer and he like nailed I'm it, assuming it he, looked like he did. I'm knowing the man's level of discipline yeah. and desire for excellence, yeah. I can't imagine he wasn't nailing it. It looked like it to me. Yeah, and I so can't all imagine. those were very, very captivating. I loved the the part at the end of the song that we had reacted to, uh on, where they're kind of on the mountain range. And, and the then applause. The applause and that's my cap. That's my favorite moment of the film. And then I think is I, that number and the applause at and, the end. And I don't know if it was right after that or right before he goes to see once again spoilers, right? His mom, right? Because she's dying, right? And, and uh, he, that, he did the performance. That's my for second her. favorite. Yeah, moment. that was a, a fantastic, like whole portion of the film because I would think I think they were all pretty subsequential. Um, and it was one another great performance, but also like pretty emotional because you saw it on Kamal's face, and uh, so th that whole I think I texted the group right after that. I was like, I, I loved that scene. Yeah, of that's him. those and, are my two favorite moments. And obviously, he's I think he's a very emotionally available actor. I think yes, he's he a is phenomenal actor. This performance, even though I think there's faults in the film, that's true. Um, I I like this performance probably more than any other film um, of his so far. I mean, we've seen what five five. five. 
I want to say five six. Yeah, something like that. Um, and so I'm I'm still a baby, <laughs> so we still need to see more. And clearly, because I didn't like it as much as you. Yeah, you hate it. I, it'll just I'll I'll be told. Send him more death I, threats, I'm a, everyone. I'm a Kamal Hassan <laughs> hater. I should stop reviewing Indian cinema. Probably should. Yeah, probably should. I'm not going to stop. So, <laughs> how many SRK films have I have I not liked? We love the man. <laughs> Like, I hate Dev Doss and think he was terrible. <laughs> I'm not an SRK hater. Um, just a little, and a little perspective there. But yes, I, I loved his performance. I thought it was great. I thought all the music by Raja Sir, unsurprisingly. None surprising. Uh, yeah, I got nothing negative about that. That's, the, that's, score was, the score the was score great. The score was absolutely wonderful. Uh, in a, a I thought she was lovely, by the way. Jaya? I, yeah, I actually, of the performances... You liked hers? I liked... Hers was my favorite of... Of everybody oh, in the, on, in the thing. over here, I guess. Yep. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I agree. I thought she did not agree. I thought on, she, was she was lovely. Better, but I thought she did a really good job. And I believed their relationship, and I was invested in their relationship. Yeah, That's yeah, one yeah. of the things I wish we'll get into the filmmaking. There's some aspects of the filmmaking that didn't allow me... Me personally, there may be other people that got there, and that's fine. For me, the filmmaking didn't do that for me. Mm. That didn't let me get so invested in them enough where the emotional arc brought me to where I felt the film could have brought me. Because ultimately, I think the story is a great story. Yeah. Uh, it's a very good story. Yeah, I, I was... Uh, on the filmmaking side... Um and yeah, she was great, like I said. Uh, she, I think she she brought it in... in the flashback times and, and the present times as well. I thought she did, she did a really and good job. And for an 80-something f- film in the 80s, big applause for the ha- hair and makeup people. Mm-hmm. It didn't look like dreadful, bad high school theater makeup. It mm-hmm. actually looked legit aging. Yeah. Really, really good makeup and hair. And uh, his... his uh, um him as well, I thought did a really. Good, I thought all the performances were actually really good. They weren't really like because sometimes in older films you can get some performances that are just that are just painful, painful yeah. because it, of the time. And it's not like it's like oh that's a stylized time. It's like oh they're bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this film I don't think it had any of that. Um, no, I it do. Didn't. I do agree. In the second half, uh, that's probably when my engagement fell off. It was probably in the last forty-five minutes, maybe when they actually caught up mm. to to real real life. time, and because I was I. Even though surprisingly, I'm usually more engaged in the in the real time, and I don't like the flashbacks. Yeah, obviously it's the '80s, so I can't really critique that aspect. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I was a lot more engaged in the first uh, two hours, I guess, uh, of the film, and I got less engaged as they went on to like, okay, now this is this, and this is their dilemmas with this. this right. Is their de- blah blah blah. blah I could blah. feel them wrapping it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and that way, even though I don't think it was bad, I just it, it's not it wasn't as engaging for me as the first half was. Yeah, me. and I I don't know if it's so much the script as it was pacing. Like one of the things that was jarring for me mm. was um, her being on the ch- on the train because she said John. She, yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> being on the train because she was going to leave. Yeah, and then uh, he goes back to catch her to bring her back the, mm-hmm. right and it, it goes from her being on the train to i'm going i'm leaving and then he slaps her and then she's in his hosp- in kamal hassan's hospital room it was like a, just yeah. a quick it felt like they were just trying to wrap stuff up mm. at the end in a yep. couple of spots um and i also felt believability story wise there were some things that happened that that for me were just like well of course, she would arrive right at the moment that he's praying for her. And of course, while they're standing there, he's going to have an episode with his stomach. And of course, that it's going to be his daughter. And of course, it's going to be, you know, mm-hmm. those moments for me, there wasn't anything unpredictable per se mm-hmm. that caused me to feel a sense of, oh, revelatory or learn anything new per se. It, it was kind of as much as I love the story and felt like the way the story unfolded could have been a bit more exciting. Mm-hmm. I, I That lost me some. Gotcha. That, and that differentiated it being loving the film to just liking the like film. Because uh, I, I remember from the first director, you loved the, the first film we saw. M- more than this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I remember you raving about yeah, that Yeah, film. yeah, yeah. Much, uh, much, much more than this one. Talking about- like I said, this one for me is a one and done. I saw it. I liked it. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it. If someone else loves it, hey... I'm happy you love it. I would definitely recommend it. 
for Kamal's performance, uh, and I think it's an overall good film, um, and the, the the dance performances as well. They're, those were incredibly engaging. Yeah, the dance. Every single one. You know how we you know we love watching classical music and classical dance. It it felt like watching those, honestly. Yeah, uh, it was like the classical music ones we've seen where there's just these amazing song numbers and you get to just revel in the gloriousness of the artistry. Also, I wanted to know um, in that one where he was he was he was drunk, right, and he was doing it on the pole. Yeah, I wanted to know what actually the set looked like. Me too. How high? How what, high up was he? Was it was it just like two feet under the ground? Yeah, and that's probably what it was because they're not going to risk the star falling down a well. Yeah, <laughs> but also it wouldn't surprise me if Kamal Sun was like, "I want to do this." And and I'm sure I could tell there were some moments that seemed to be highlighted enough that if you understood the culture, you probably would have recognized what the director was doing that we would miss. Mm -hmm. I really I really saw some moments. I can't think of one specifically right now, but I remember there being at least three or four moments. Even something like this, like when his when his bicycle crashed amongst the goats. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. In my mind I thought was cuz the director gave me the feeling he was doing that a lot. Mm. That there were moments where even something as simple as or innocuous as crashing amongst the goats that that might have had some symbolism in the imagery. Mm. I don't know that it did. It may have not. He may have just crashed his bike amongst the goats. But there might have been something from folklore or culture or something that hearkened back to... I, I, something in my gut tells me oh, there's yeah. a bunch of stuff that I probably would have missed and thought more highly of the film if I understood those things. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, I also thought there were a lot of really good uh, cinematography for the time. Uh, in in some of the shots, there was a bunch of like different kind of shadow shots. Uh, there were a lot of shadows in this. Uh, there were, um, and so and also like obviously the whole message of, I mean, it had to it ride as the film ended. Yeah, it end and then the what was the exact wording of it? It said, um, "Art never ends." Art something. never ends. I think or something something, something, something along that. those lines. And obviously he, especially in his his younger days. Uh, of the message of like he was they were trying to get him to which was a funny scene I thought trying to do, get him to do the movie star moves mm -hmm. he was trying to choreograph for the movie stars yes. and he was like I'm having to lessen my art for this yeah <laughs> yep. so the overall message I was like yeah, yeah I get it <laughs> I totally get it yeah um, and, and there was obviously a lot of that and uh, it was uh, man I would have I would love to be able to talk to him because I'm sure he learned all these dances Maybe not. Um, actually, it wouldn't shock me if he tried to learn specifically each dance, or mm -hmm. if he just obviously um, learned the choreograph for each dance. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know. But at that time, nineteen eighties, he might have just knew he was doing it and tried to. He's he's the kind of actor that I think he. I think he's method adjacent. <laughs> yeah. I think he's method adjacent in yeah. that he. Will I think everybody completely? Well, DDL is yeah uh, full blown method. So <laughs> Danny Day Lewis um, is Danny Day Lewis. Yeah, he he's full blown method, and I bet it's one of the reasons he stopped theater because you can't be full blown method and do theater aside from the dad issue. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's okay. Um, but I I think he is like obsessed with perfecting any aspect of a character he's playing. Like if he was going to play yeah. a CIA agent, yeah. he would know every nuance and he would repeat every hand movement of his gun and his badge thousands of times. He'd be the kind of guy like Brian Cranston talks about getting to know a kitchen and that if you're filming a scene in a kitchen, he'll want to spend like an hour in the kitchen walking around and memorizing where everything is so that when the scene happens, oh, if yeah. it's his kitchen... You don't think about where you don't have to think about where anything is. Yeah, it's smart. It's very smart. Obviously. It's just that's that's being a good actor. Yeah, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he was. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and obviously, uh, training. How early was this in his career? <clears throat> I it had to have been really early. I, I, I mean, what was he in, <clears throat> in this? Was he maybe thirty? Um, I'm trying to go down here. Thirty-five. If he's older than that, I'd be shocked because then I don't know how old he is now. So 1983, uh, he has a lot of credits. <laughs> so yeah, we're back to 78, 77, and these are 76, all... 83, 
I, I would have thought he'd be in his 30s. When was he born? Because I thought he's like my dad's age. That must have been a kid. He must have been a kid. Yeah. In... How old is Kamal Hassan? Oh, yeah, he's a little younger than my dad. He's 67. So, so yeah, he would have been around 30. In this? In this. He would have been roughly around 30 years old, probably. So it looks like he started real young. Like he might have been a child. Like a child actor. actor. So he's grown up around cinema. Yeah. Uh, and so it, that's probably one of the reasons he loves it so much is that this is his life. This is kind of what he's always done. Sure. Um, and it makes sense. But anyways, um, did we miss talking about any aspects? The writers. Don't leave out the writers. I try not to, especially if you follow us on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the writing. We talked about Rajasar's music because it was... There wasn't long. anything... If we don't mention something, for example, like... Um, if we don't mention something... It's because it was neither blaringly bad or glowingly great. Like, mm. production design for this, I thought was good. I didn't have a problem with it, nor is there anything that just blew my mind. Same thing with costuming. I thought costuming was good. Yeah. Didn't necessarily blow my mind. No. I thought Rogers' score was very, very good, but there was nothing that, that specifically, like, drew me away from the film and was, like, amazed by the score. Mm. Um, I loved all the songs. I, I liked and all I the songs. And I think he composed all the stuff. Yeah, I all liked the, all, the all the songs. So, so part of it. I didn't love them all, but uh, I, I, I liked them all. So let us know uh, when we should murder Rick and uh, bury him at the stake down below. Yeah, it's ama <laughs> it's amazing. It really it really is amazing how you know uh, just it doesn't happen here in America, kids. It just doesn't happen here. Like if somebody. I mean, there are critics here who will freaking skewer films. Yeah. And the fan base doesn't attack the critic. They may say the critic's a complete idiot. That's fine. But it's called having a difference of opinion. <laughs> it's an amazing idea. Also, Rick did like the film. So I just want to re reestablish that, that everybody if, knew. If I don't say it the way they want it said, I'm a dick. Well, and so well, you are a dick. Just for it's different true. reasons, Legally, Rick. Just it's on my driver's license. <laughs> dick is the actual dick. No, I'm no, I'm Richard. Like, I was like, what? I'm Richard. <laughs> That'd be weird. Anyways, um, so yeah, let us know what the next Kamal Hassan film should be. The next film by this director as well, because obviously he's a, a well-established director. Uh, and uh, I've like, sorry, I'm, I was trying to find the director. Hey, wait a minute. What? Was that, were you on Kamal Hassan's page and I that was. said something was in post production? Well, it, um, Vikram. Is that what Indian 2 is up here? No, 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 no. This, what is this? Uh, that, well, oh, there's an Indian 1, and we've seen. Um, yeah, but what's Indian 2? That's the sequel to Indian. We, we just the other day actually saw a song from it. Do you remember? Whatever. <laughs> we saw a song from Indian, like, I want to say two weeks ago. I don't think it's ever going to make it on the channel because I think it was blocked. But um, oh yeah, it's a pretty famous film of his, Indian Two. <laughs> yes, we reacted to a song from Indian Two. Yes, yes, Rick, Indian Two. We reacted to a song from it. <laughs> his next film, which we will hopefully see in theaters, yes. is Vikram. Vikram, which will be very exciting because the trailers have been so fun. Yeah, and it has that cast. Uh, Hope I like it. Let us know what the next uh, Kamal San Telugu film and the film by this director should be down below.